What's good, y'all? It's your boy Eternal Man back with another one. We got One Piece, yo. The, the final episode of this fight, bro. The climax, yo. A71. Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm yo. <laughs> I'm happy, bro. The last two episodes, yo, that, 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 that really did it for me, bro. Like, this was all worth it, bro. To see Luffy get his ass beat so badly, bro. And to get up each and every time knowing that this nigga don't have no energy. This nigga, like, he's outclassed. Don't matter, bro. He still continues to get up. That's the main point in all this. The main point in all this, to me, that I've noticed is so many times Category says, um, you know, he said it's shameful. You're on, you're on your back right now. You must be ashamed of yourself. This and that, this and that. But... And he's supposed to be looked at as perfect perfection because he's never been on his back. He's never been defeated. He's never none of these things. And the way I see it is, is Katakori is imperfect. And the things that Luffy did during this fight was perfection. I think that's perfection. The fact that you getting on your, you get knocked on your ass every time and you keep continuing to get up. You feel me? That's perfection to me. Perfection to me ain't someone that's never been on their back. Perfection is someone that get that has been on their back and they continue to keep getting up. You feel me? So th th that's what I got out of this whole fight. And this has just been amazing, bro. <laughs> this has been amazing, period. Luffy, like, Luffy showed the world, nigga. He showed everyone, nigga, who he, like, he showed us before who he is many times over. We knew who he was from day one. But this fight really, like, did something else. Like, this did something for me, and I know this had to do something for all y'all because this, is, this was just insane, bro, to see this the way it happened. And I don't even want to talk no more. Appreciate all my subscribers, man. Appreciate everybody that's been rocking with me since I um, got back and reintegrated into One Piece, man. And by the end of the month, we're going to be done with Whole Cake Island completely. You feel me? So we're going to be at Wano soon, man. We got the Reverie and Wano, and we we lit. We there. <laughs> Y'all so excited, man. Um, and, yeah, Otis said we got five more years left. Um, he said he's about to make the biggest war ever after Wano. Uh, and I'm guessing that that has to do with the final war against, like, the world government or whatever. So this is going to be insane, bro, and I'm happy I get to document um each and every one of these episodes along that journey till we get to the end, bro. You feel me? So, one piece, man. I, I can't wait, bro. Appreciate all y'all again, man. Let's get it. They both still standing, bro. They both still standing. And they both hit each other, boy. Oh, hold up. Who gonna drop? Soda. Well, run from the fight against Katakuri? Come on now. Run from the fight? They, yo, they downplaying my boy so hard right now, bro. I love it. I love it because they all going to be hurt and distraught and defeated when they find out that Katakuri lost. Might as well just get with her, bro. Like, I don't understand. That's it, bro. You might as well get with her, bro. Stop playing with me. She about to say now to you. Oh, yeah, she did, bro. I forgot about all that shit. She was playing on body in this nigga with Big Mom and everybody. I forgot about that. Oh, shit. Oh, I was gonna fucking die for a second, bro. I thought this shit was about to fall back and kill. Sanji's a real nigga, bro. Like, stop playing with us. They helped us. Her and Shift on. They helped us a lot, bro. Without them, bro, I don't know. Sanji would have never been able to make that cake without them. You feel me? So, respects to them. Respects to Pudding and Shift on. What's up? What's happening? Nigga, we do whatever. What's up? 
Oh, you want a kiss? You want to take that cigarette? Does she want a kiss from my nigga, bro? She just threw away the cigarette, bro. She want a kiss. <laughs> That's gone. My nigga Saji, finally, bro. This nigga ain't got with no one, bro. Not no one this whole series. That was dope, man. My boy finally got it. Like, he, that was a dope moment, bro, between him and Putty. I ain't gonna front. But now we back to it, nigga. Let's go. Who gonna drop? Who gonna drop? <laughs> Who gonna drop? Bro, let's go. <laughs> Who gonna drop? This is amazing, bro. This was amazing. This was like a match made in heaven, bro. Like, both these two, this, this was meant to happen, bro. Like, nigga, this shit ain't over with. Nigga, if this nigga's still standing, you gotta get up. He about to fall. Yes, he did. He about to fuck him up. Fall. He fell forward. He didn't want to fall on his back, bro. He fell forward his bitch ass, bro. He wrong for that, bro. He should have gave that to my nigga Luffy, bro. He should have fell back. Ain't nobody been able to put put Katakori to that brink on ever in his life. Nigga, <laughs> until now, bro. He should have gave the respect to Luffy and fell back. Yo, what is going to happen right here, bro? This shit don't look too good. What? Yeah, this shit don't look too good, bro. What's finna happen? Real shit, that's a bar, nigga. <laughs> but we ain't finna die here, bro. Fuck that. And we said we come from different places, but we could die together, though. <laughs> what you mean you have no choice? What? <laughs> Yo, Brooke is that nigga, bro. Brooke, Brooke was about to say, let me see what oh. He was about to yell that shit, bro. I'm done, bro. Brooke is the truth, bro. Brooke is the truth. Bro, so much could have been went wrong. Right. We believe in our captain, nigga. So much could have went wrong this whole entire time, bro. Yeah, they could all be dead right now. Big Mom could have bodied all of their asses. So much could have been wrong, man. <sighs> bro, he really did not have the respect to fall on his back, bro. This man fell forward, bro. What the fuck? Luffy about to get up. Let's go. We still going, bro. We still standing, Mike. Let's go. Exactly. Nah, nah, I ain't with all that. He should have showed my boy Luffy the respect Luffy deserved to put him to this point. We won. Get off, Luffy. <laughs> Yo, he's still standing, bruh. He's still standing. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> it ain't over, bro. It ain't over, bro. We still ready to go, bro. What you talking about? You damn right! You damn right! You already know what time it is. I think it's gonna be the king, bro. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Nigga, we still ready to fight. <laughs> Come on. That's the respect I'm talking about, bro. That was respect. That was respect right there, bro. He fell back. <laughs> that 
That was the realest shit just now when Luffy just did, bro. Hold up. <coughs> bro, that was the rip, yo. That was the realest shit ever, bro. That man Luffy, I mean that man category fell back, bro. He fell back, bro. That was out of respect. Out of respect of this man that, that kept getting up, bro. Kept getting up. Kept coming at me and brought me to this brink. Brought me to this point. Ain't no one ever did this before. The category. That was respect. Him getting back up and falling to his back. That was respect. And well, the deeper part of all this was the, what Luffy just did, bro. Luffy knows category doesn't like showing off his face. You feel me? He doesn't like showing off his mouth. So that was out of respect. Nigga, this, this match was so important. This fight, this this battle was it was it was deeper than what it is on the surface, bro. That was that was beautiful, bro. <coughs> oh, she's still here, bro. <laughs> we lit, bro. <laughs> This is Peckham's? Peckham's, nigga. <laughs> Shut your ass up, nigga. You Peckham's, nigga. Just stop playing with us, bro. Good looks, though. We know you Peckham's, but good look, though. Real shit. We're gonna get our captain to safety. <laughs> we gonna get out this territory, bro. We gotta go. We gotta go to Wano, bro. We gotta go to Wano, bro. We gotta go to Wano, my nigga. <laughs> Let's go. The straw hats, boy. Look at the sunny, bro. I'm getting mad seeing that shit like that, bro. We done been through hell, bro. We done been through hell. <laughs> oh, my nigga finna be the king of the pirates, <laughs> Oh. oh, that was amazing, bro. Let's go. We finna be the king. Of we finna get the wild off, bro. Oh, Kaido next. Yo, that, that was One Piece episode 871. The climax, nigga. The end of the battle, bro. Yo, this is a little bit. I'm recording this part a little bit uh, a couple hours later because I had to leave out as soon as the episode ended. But I'm still hyped, bro. <laughs> it was amazing, bro. Yo, just, just to see that the respect, the respect that that Luffy and Katakuri had for one another, bro. After all this, like, like just going back to the beginning of this battle, bro. Like real shit and how. Luffy, like, okay, so we got we got a little bit into Katakuri, you feel me? Into his past and during these um these past like 15 episodes where we got real deep into his past, why he wears that shit over his face. Um It has to do with insecurity, obviously. His insecure his insecureness of like want, not wanting to like, you know, be seen like that, you feel me? <laughs> For his mouth. Because he wants to be looked at and carry this this um image of you know perfection and that's not perfection in their eyes that's an imperfection so we got that um we got luffy breaking his temple and and not giving a fuck really at all about his mouth like he didn't give a fuck and just the the like i said i stated this already but just seeing luffy get up so many times and category looked at that as just getting falling period all of that was shameful but he's perfection. No, perfection was Luffy. It was falling down and you are, and you getting back up. That's what I got out of this episode, bro. I'm going to keep this with me for life. That was, I was fired. Perfection is you getting knocked down and getting the fuck back up. That was, that's, this was amazing, bro. And the fact that after the fight was over, Luffy, Luffy got up, obviously. But then he was crawling on the ground and then you just see big ass Kenkuri <laughs> go up again, bro. Yo, with the fact that he got up just to just to say these those words to Luffy, you know, are you gonna come back to um, fight Big Mom again, right? And just to hear Luffy with with hit, hit full heart, my nigga, full heart, body and soul, just yell out, "Of course, nigga, I'm gonna become the king of the pirates, bro." Yo, that shit is just, every time I hear him say that, bro, I just get so hyped and happy, bro. Like, 
this is a long time coming, bro. Like, dude, this shit is insane. But just to hear those words coming out from Katakori and Katakori's last words be, I think you you look at a little too ahead of the future. You feel me? Meaning, like, he defeated him. That, that meant, like, he defeat, um, Luffy defeated Katakori which is the strongest person next to Big Mom in this whole territory, you feel me? But you got, you got, that's a long ways away from that when you're going to be able to defeat Big Mom head up, you feel me? So that was very dope. That was very interesting. And just to see him get back up, just to fall again and fall back this time in front of Luffy. And just for Luffy to just see that nigga just, that was amazing, bro. That was amazing, man. But just the, the sheer respect that he got back up just to fall back again in front of Luffy. And then the deeper respect between the two was where Luffy put took that hat and put it over Katakori's mouth, bro. Out of respect, because he knows nobody. He doesn't like that shit. He doesn't like to see his mouth shown. So that, that was just insane, bro. Katakori, I have so much respect for his character. Especially when his sister tried to get involved and fuck up Luffy, and he found out about it, and he he went off on them, but not only went off on him, but injured himself in that same spot, bro. Out of respect, you feel me? Cause he, he's an honorable dude, you feel me? So that was out of respect to Luffy, you know? Hey, my bad, but we I'm I'm fucked up just like you, nigga. We gonna keep going. So th that whole scene was amazing. Like that that really made me love Catacord. I already liked him heavy because he's just a monster. He's um he cares about his family. You feel me? Um, his hockey is on a whole nother level. Like he's just a dope character. His character design is dope. Everything, but that one moment with his sister and him injuring himself and all that that really made me love Katakuri. Like that's it. <laughs> like he's definitely a top ten character. Um, One Piece character. Facts. Definitely top ten. Uh top five people Luffy has ever faced. This is this is the best fight in One Piece. I can't think of And like I said, I'm, One Piece I, is not really great in my eyes when it comes to fights. I don't know. It's just me. The fights are good. Like, I'm not saying most of these fights are bad in One Piece. I'm just saying that I put fighting systems and fighting in general in other animes or other mangas um, at a higher level to me. But um, this definitely was the best fight Just because it was just that intense And just to see just Luffy get his ass beat That that just made this ending a whole lot more Like, worth it, man This was insane And we ready, bro We right here I don't know how the fuck we finna get out of Big Mom's territory But we need to get out of here And Reverie need to start And then we need to get to Wano, bro <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait till we get the water, man. This is gonna be fire, man. Um, and again, shout out to all my subscribers, yo. Appreciate all the ones that's been rocking with me since I started this journey back with One Piece again, man. This is this has been truly great. <laughs> my nigga, like this has been truly amazing. So, um, I hope all y'all continue to rock with me, man. We're gonna we're gonna get into it, man. We're gonna get into it. Oh, also, San Sanji, I don't know what the fuck he doing, but he need to get just get with Pudding. Like, I don't know what's up. Like, fuck is up with them niggas, bro? They need to get the Pudding. Nah, I ain't got that much more else to say. I've been talking like crazy throughout the past couple videos. And just for this one episode, I, I think I just said everything I need to say, bro. The will of D, you feel me? The will to keep pushing forward. Shout out my nigga Luffy for this, bro. Like, real shit. Shout out my nigga Luffy, <laughs> cause that I'm just I'm replaying like clips in my mind of everything that happened, bro. And I'm just like, bro, that was amazing. Especially when he fell, that was the best part, bro. When he fell down to the ground, I was like, bro, that that was insane, man. Shout out to all my subscribers, appreciate all y'all. Y'all be safe and have a good day. Peace.